Well, it seemed like you guys put in a couple new offensive sets uh, tonight. Was it just them playing zone or something you learned off film from Virginia? Or what was the idea? We didn't put anything new in. We've, did they just, that's the first time anybody's played as much zone. That's been part of the package for 30, how many years? Well, you don't have to worry about my confidence. Worry about his. Um, well, he made some shots today, but he spent a lot of time in the gym. There's a direct correlation between putting time in and, and working in, in the right fashion and working on the right things to being successful doing those things. And he has spent just a a ton of time in the gym. Were you worried about his confidence? I have a hard time. I have a hard time figuring out what they think. You know, I, I'm. A, I have a hard enough time worrying about what I think sometimes. So I, I don't. I, I don't know. I mean. They asked me at halftime what, what, what about what they thought. I, how the hell do I know what they think? I, I have no idea what they think. I mean, I, I'd like I'd like for them to think a little. Uh, I'd like for them to think that maybe we should stop them from shooting layups so much. But obviously, they're not thinking that. But that's what I've tried to get them to think. But I've been very successful. So I was just making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find a way to do it. Okay. Is the problem in stopping those layups, especially in transition, is that more on the back end or recovery from the front end? Well, where, where are the problems there? Really, what it is is when you have three guys leaving early trying to run out and get a layup, is what really what the, the biggest problem was in the second half. Made too many guys trying to score and not enough guys trying to stop people. I think if we go back and look at the film, that would bear that out. When they've got four guys below the foul line and we have one or two, the chances are probably pretty good they're going to get a layup. That's why I kept substituting. It, obviously, a different situation tonight with the big lead at halftime, but how big of a concern are you know, sluggish second half starts? Well, I think it's uh, what's happened here at home is it's, it's a byproduct of being up by a bunch and everybody trying to figure out how to get a couple points of their own, right. you know, instead of, you know, the ball movement stops and guys are running out and it happens. It shouldn't happen, but it does. Is that what you asked me? Yeah. <coughs> what do you think of the shot selection tonight generally? 36 three-pointers attempted, much more than you have in any other mm, game. What are you going to do when they stand in the lane? Well, they pretty much stood five guys in the lane and said, you know, dared us to shoot it. I mean, as long as there's shots that we can rebound, I'm okay with it. I'm just not okay with the ones we can't rebound. And I'm not okay with some of the ones that we took that were uh, ill-advised. Is that a good word? I'm trying to be more politically correct. Were you tempted at all at the start of the game? Javon comes out and misses four relatively easy shots and a layup. Misses his first five. I mean, we, we attempted it all to, to, to yank him or to, or to, no, or to say something to honestly, him. Honestly, Bob never thought about it. Never thought about taking him out. I know, you know, I just know I hear the ball bouncing down there and I look out the window in my office and he's generally the one down there. And I don't, I don't think taking him out would have done any, any good. 
you know, I th he just needed to make some. And and it, I, he was, if he wasn't the first, he was the second. And today, before we had shoot around, he's, you know, he's just he's. I I give guys that try a lot more rope than I give guys that don't. You know, those guys that keep shooting it, but I don't ever see them in the gym or hear they're in the gym. Those are the guys that I kind of get out quick. I'm a big proponent of work. This is kind of off base a little bit, but when... That's pretty unusual coming from you. When, 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 a, when a guy like, uh, or, or anyone on the other team, like, like Samuel did tonight, he's just kind of going off and doing his thing. In-game adjustments, does it become a big focal point? Well, well I mean, maybe if, it, if he hadn't banked the first one in. <laughs> right. uh, the one on the baseline hit the side, hit the, just grazed the backboard and went in. I mean, we're going to give up some stuff in transition with the way we play. That's you have to kind of live with that. Uh, we don't shouldn't give up laps in half court. But he has ended up being. I think they wanted him back there to finish. I don't know that for a fact, but I would guess that that was the plan. And, and he did a pretty good job for a while. But anything else? Expect to see this kind of shooting often, or from us? Yes. I, Bob, honestly, I thought we would. Um, you know, obviously the competition in the Bahamas wasn't very good, but uh, we shot it really well. Uh, Dak shot it well. JC shot it well. Unfortunately, Beetle shot it probably better than everybody did, but. But, I mean, we made shots. And we make shots in practice. We throw the ball all over the place in practice. So it's not a surprise we throw it all over the place in the game. But we don't miss shots like that, like we've missed shots in games in practice. We make shots. Our, our struggle in practice is shooting it before we turn it over. Obviously making a point. Mm -hmm. uh, point made. Yeah, I think he understands. When you have a layup, you shouldn't throw a behind the back pass. I mean, you know that's he knows that, you know. But I don't, I don't, I don't see any good in acting like those things didn't happen. I know Jay Billis didn't agree, but Jay's a much, much brighter coach than I am. So. He just couldn't figure out why I didn't put him back in the game, I guess. Huh? But. <laughs>